All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch and also on YouTube in the future for Mardu Angels again. Uh, we've had a whole lot of success with this deck before, so um, excited to play it again. Uh, the new thing here that this time that we didn't have before is we're going to try some Takatli Honor Guards in the main deck against all these Sultai decks. I think that's that's like the one matchup that I'm still kind of trying to figure out how good it is for us uh, is the Sultai matchup. Um, and uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll kind of see. It's kind of surprising. We've played, as you can tell by up here today, we've played 13 matches. And we've actually played against zero Sultai decks in all 13. So that's kind of crazy. But yeah, Mardu Angels. Here we go. Constructed event. No, not constructed event. Go back. I want to play this competitive metagame challenge. So we're going to see how we do if we can... Um, we are out after our first loss. So we're seeing how many wins we can get. You think Honor Guard's better over Tithe Taker? That's, that's something I've definitely been debating a whole lot about. Um, whether, you know, what two drop to take out. Whether it's a Danto Vanguard or Tithe Taker to fit in Honor Guard. Um, correct. Kali does not stop Krasis. Colin Hewitt, second month in a row. Welcome back. Thanks, Colin. I haven't been too happy with Adanto Vanguard. It's it's amazing against control. That's what it is. It's amazing against control, Adanto Vanguard is. But basically every other matchup, it's not very good. And so it's a it's a really narrow set of decks that you really want it against. Longest run was the last one. We got to we got to five wins. So we went, we were 5 0 and then lost uh, our last one with Bant mid range there. So that it was 10 packs. Um, yeah, so we got 10 packs and 3,000 gold. So we gained, we netted 1,000 gold and then also got 10 packs. The biggest thing that I don't like, or, you know, like for myself, like where Ravnica Allegiance is a set that I basically already have all of, the, um, I wish like the packs were like split between some different sets and they're not all just like the same set. Oh, that's awesome. Jealous. Yeah, you're putting it on the giant TV. All shock lands. This mana base is shocking how painful it is. It's shocking, Hawkeye. I'm trying to spruce up the Naya Dino list. I noticed that it floods out a lot. Would you suggest cutting a land or cutting some number of Thunderherd migration? Yeah, I could see cutting. I think I would prefer getting rid of some Thunderherd migration. I, in the Dino list that I that I play, I I have um treasure map there too that kind of helps you uh, smooth your draw steps out you know like tuck lands to the bottom and everything treasure map doesn't necessarily work the best with thunderherd migration though whenever you scry a bunch of lands to the bottom and then you have a thunderherd migration that you want to cast but you don't want to shuffle all those cards back in I would just I would just have it be random packs or just like you know when you make when you get two 10 you get like two of each or or whatever i mean that's that's what i would prefer but that's that's also just kind of me all right so i'm leading with angel of grace first into lyra They playing counter magic. Okay, you did well with Mardu control, but you only have one car and you ran duress in its place. Okay. I could see I could see just playing 
um, another Jaya Ballard then if you only have the one Karn. Karn's the kind of card that you really want to at least two of in your deck when you're playing Karn because if you tick Karn up um, and put a silver counter on something and they use a removal spell on it, then you, d you don't have any answers or any other cards to get like whatever card you have exiled. That makes sense. Like, so Dirk, you you play until you until you lose with this event. You just play matches, like best two out of three matches, and until you lose. One loss and you're done. Yeah, it's pretty harsh. All right, we got game one. It costs this one costs 400 gems, or 2,000 gold. There's the uh, there's a different one that costs 200 gems, where you play till you win five or lose two. That's the one that I almost always do. Phoenix, 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 Phoenix. So Honor Guard is certainly out, and probably Tithe Taker as well. Those don't seem like they matter too much. I like Settle. I like Duress. And then where are we going? Are we going Theater? Are we going Immortal Sun? What am I doing for the last two cards? Thinking Theater or Immortal Sun. I, I don't hate Clarion. Could certainly see Clarion also. I could just go back and play a couple Tithe Takers. Alright, let's go Theater. Yeah, Clarion's not good against the four toughness drakes or against like the one five uh, that we saw there, the Murmuring Mystic. Um, but it is good against like all the tokens they can make. And I like how Clarion just giving Angel's Life Link is kind of cool. I mean, that's still what Lyra does. But one more question about Mardu Angels: Do you think that Bedevil would be a reasonable choice over Vras's Contempt? Yeah, I think. Yeah, um, I like the Contempt for the exile stuff. But yeah, that's there's not a huge difference between the two. But like against against Sultai, I really like exiling their Krasis or whatever I'm contempting. I'm going with Blood Crypt here to start with because we could draw, we could potentially draw Duress that we want to play next turn. building decks, do you stick to colors more than cards? I mean, for draw value. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what your question means. Whenever I, I build decks, I think about, like, different uh, cards that I want to play and car cards that I want to, like, kind of play together and kind of go from there. I'm not sure what the other part, I'm not sure what that question means too much though for draw value do I like Aurelia or Shalai more they're pretty close I like Seraph Seraph the most out of the four mana angels um, Aurelia and Shalai are pretty close honestly
I kind of like them about the same. You know, they do different things. Any phoenixes yet? I haven't really been able to see. So they got one phoenix. Banefire, Spell Pierce. I'll take the Spell Pierce. Uh, that shock was really good for them. Okay, you're making the poodle bark. The poodle bark. Ugh. The poodle bark. All right, sir. Seraph of the scales. Angels! Angels versus Drakes. Ah. Uh, dang it, they get a 1 1. Giving the bonus to Aurelia because Aurelia has trample. Aurelia gives red creatures trample. If I just give it to Seraph, uh, it's just six. Seraph six power. That's very easy to block. Um, if I mortify. This, then they play Niv Mizzet. Yeah, I guess I'll save it for Niv. Don't like how they could also just play a bunch of spells here, make a bunch of 1 1s, though. I don't like that. Don't like that one bit. But it really can trample. Just fair. Stern, but fair. Oh my gosh. I should have just killed the Mystic. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Really punished for not using my Mortify earlier. Dun, dun, dun. 
tan 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 So they can triple block Aurelia and shock Aurelia. That's their card. So glad the band deck performed well. I'm going to try it later tonight or go to bed and get a good sleep to try out the metagame challenge all day tomorrow. Awesome. Yeah, best of luck. Yeah, it it did feel pretty good. Whoops. Wrong card. Oh well. Man, I really wish I just... Really wish I would have just mortified the Murmuring Mystic like I wanted to, to begin with. I think we would have had the game won by now. That thing's a 12-4? That thing's a 12-4? Alright, well that made my play really bad also. Did not think that thing would be a 12-4. You can't return the angel. Angel can just make your life total 10. Alright, well not mortifying the 1-5 certainly cost me that. What what are y'all saying that right there I punted that last turn? What did what did you want me to do that last turn? I'm not not sure what you all are saying the punts about. So I still don't really like these theaters here, but I don't really want anything else either. I guess I'm going with them. Uh, 
Alright, let's try this out. Yeah, it's a uh, the uh, blue Yeti Pro mic. There we go. I mean, I don't I don't know if like going aggressive with early Tithe Taker helps us out too much. Like, look at that. Like, they're just lightning striking us. Like, they have a, a lot of, like, cheap burn spells for them. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if we're really going getting anywhere with the uh, early Tithe Takers. They get, like, brick walled pretty easily by everything. Certainly don't mind them just using burn spells at me at all. I'll trade at five life for two cards. You know, get a mind rot for five life. Attack in. Nice, we just get that life back. Back up to 21. Yeah, I'll eat during a 12 hour stream. Down to seven. Angels are hitting hard. Yeah, certainly glad our opponent just used burn spells instead of just keeping them in hand to kill these angels. There's no difference between doing lava coil then shock or shock then lava coil. The, the creature gets exiled. Yeah, lava coil says if it would die this turn, exile it. So there's no. There's no difference in the ordering of those two spells. And that's game. All right, got to win. Weston NC with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Weston. That is our 62nd subscriber of the day. And we're down to... Should be down to 81 subs for the next... It's not updating. 81. Still looking like 82. Whoops. Not bad. Uh, how are we doing over here? I, I, I just can't physically do 24 hours. Like, I, I just physically can't. I can do, you know, 12-hour streams a couple times in a week, but... What do you think are the best, best of three decks for now? The ones you see the m most potential... Right now, um, right now, Sultai is certainly the deck that um, I feel like is probably the best. 
but I think that Bant has a ton of potential, but just w how to build a Bant deck is kind of tough. Uh, exactly what to do with a Bant deck. But I, I certainly see just the color combinations. The color combination in uh, Bant has basically everything. All right, so the opponent's on Abzan. That's unfortunate. The removal spell for my Honor Guard. Vivian is like one of the very best cards in the entire format against my deck. So this does not look promising for us. Our opponent may not have more lands though. That'd be great. No lands? All right, that's that's great. Oh, actually, I should just play Aurelia here. They have three twos. You know, I'm playing like Seraph to, to lead with because, you know, thinking about that, but I should just be leading with Aurelia. Yeah, I should just be leading with oh, Aurelia. Thoughts on Abzan. Same kind of thing. Uh, same kind of thing as Sultai. You know, like if, if you're playing like this kind of stuff with Abzan. I don't... I haven't been impressed with uh, white over blue in this deck, though. Um, I like Krasis and Counter Magic. A whole lot and hostage shaker has been a pretty good card uh, in this format as well filled with with crisis and wild growth walker so bad news is we're at five but good news is we're actually at 16. yeah we're playing resplendent angels got four of those And they could not get to Vivian. All right. Keeping that Growth Chamber Guardian on top. Uh, not so good. So this is this is a Settle the Wreckage match. Spyglass, Immortal Sun. Spyglass for Vivian. Immortal Sun for Vivian. What am I taking out here? I think I'm taking out Tithe Taker. I think that's what I did last time. They got, they got Tithe Taker and Aurelia. It's reasonable. Clarion's certainly not bad here. Um, that's the thing is like with Clarion. It's like there are games where it is awesome and it's, you know, kills a bunch of stuff and it's it's perfect. There are other games where it doesn't really do anything and just kind of sits in your hand because the opponent just has bigger creatures. Or they hit, maybe have like a bunch of Midnight Reapers and you can't really afford to cast it and kill other things. So I think I'll just go and settle instead. Oh, um, yeah, Mortal Sun is just a, a ridiculously good card. Yeah, it makes, makes a lot of sense in the, the Esper midrange list, for sure. Makes a lot of sense there. Hmm. History into history. I'll keep it. We got 26 lands, so 18 white sources. So drawing another white source isn't... Um, is it out of the question at all? But Devil's okay. I I prefer the Mortify and Vrass's Contempt um, in here, but when I play Bedevil in other decks, I basically always like it. So I don't know. Maybe I should be having. Maybe I should have some Bedevil. Oh. Oh. 
They are playing Abzan Angels. Well then. Well then. We certainly need to hit land drops. We need to get to Lyra. <laughs> hey, Yud. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of boosters today. Theater Horrors comes in against removal heavy decks that are killing your angels a bunch. So you want something that can... Uh, get you multiple cards. Hmm. It's going to be really tough to beat Seraph, Shalai, and Lyra. We know one Lyra of ours is, is definitely dead. With this whole Mortify thing. All right, so what am I changing with my sideboard plan? Do I have just more good removal spells for angels? That's that's a that was not a opponent. If you're watching this later, do not use your mortify on a two-two. When you saw me play all those angels, just just play your Seraph of the Scales here. Seraph's like a, a nice fine card to play. In this scenario, just just play that. <laughs> yeah, Dark Sip. I I do have do play a lot of decks that have a lot of mythics and everything, but glad I'm glad I'm helpful and everything. Glad um that you know enjoying the stream and. All of that, okay. Well, this is really good for us. The Mortify's gone, no removal spell for this Lyra. Um, they're just gonna draw a Growth Chamber Guardian, which I don't really care too much about. Yeah, Growth Chamber Guardian is just not gonna matter here. Perfect, we drew the land for Lyra. Man, if we draw another land next turn, drawing another land next turn is like, game. Game blouses. Get th get this other land. Tilt. Nah, save save coil for the seraph. Because if we would have had one more land, we could have played another resplendent angel here and just gotten another four four. That's a good card. That's certainly a good card. Don't think it's going to matter, but that's a good card. Ah, uh, you have zero Lyras. Dang, Lyra's so good, though. Oh, I, I should have kept that card in hand. For Eldritch Reborn. I, sorry, I was just kind of talking and just forgot. I, I should have kept that card in hand for Eldritch Reborn. Now I gotta discard the coil. But this one's over. Don't keep that on top. Please don't. Please put that in your graveyard. Please put that in your graveyard, opponent. No. <laughs> opponent, you can't do anything. I have Vivian Reed Spyglass. Don't keep that. I was trying to tell my opponent to put that in their graveyard. They didn't hear me though. Maybe they'll go upkeep. 
Maybe they'll go upkeep, growth chamber guardian. Alright, we got Colt 45. Alright, they got this sweet Vivian. All right, two now. With our sounds. Yeah, mortifying that two two. I uh, basically wants the game, and then yeah, we drew, we top deck that fifth land also to like throw down the lira and get that going. Mortifying the 2-2 and keeping the the Growth Chamber Guardian on top. And, of course, the Vivian on top. Like, those cards just didn't matter. They needed to explore those cards away. Hey, Tolab, doing good. All right, so two wins. We got 1,500 gold in one pack. Let's see how, how long we can go. One win and we're out. So let's see if we can get to seven wins. So yeah, this metagame challenge is like a new thing that I, I think is just for the weekend, but I don't know. But um, it costs 2,000 gold to enter, one loss, and you're done. So it's it's real tough like that. Um, but the payout is pretty incredible when you get to like four, five, six, seven wins. It's very, yeah, high risk, high reward rev event. Cast trigger. So Honor Guard's really good in this matchup, so I just want to get it down on the battlefield. I don't want them to thought erasure it. Haha. -ha. Smart. Uh, we can kind of deal with a whole, like they can have like a bunch of one ones, but if we're like gaining life with a bunch of flyers, it doesn't matter. So. Glad we got that honor guard out of our hand. My angel. Yep, shutting down deputy and hostage shaker and uh, bell haunt. Shuts down the basilica bell haunt. Stops that thing from doing anything. All right, let's get a get a backup honor guard in case they mortify one. Mm -hmm. Surveilled over a couple lands. That's a good discovery there. Of our opponent is playing the Immortal Sun. Um, the Immortal Sun turning all these things into tutus is pretty scary. Well, we're killing that thing. Sure. You can have some more one ones.
Dang. They're down to one card. I wonder if I should kill these heroes. One card. I mean, they can have like their own Seraph of the Scales. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go and kill a hero. I'll kill one. Because otherwise, like, each multicolor card they cast gets them a couple creatures. That's a good card. Now saving Coil for Seraph of the Scales or Thief of Sanity. Like, that's so I wanted to save the other. I want to make sure we have a removal spell for Thief of Sanity or um, Seraph of the Scales. All right, we take eight. But those are both dead. Put them down to five. Um. Yep. They could they could draw a blocker for Angel Grace. And we'll have the coil still. All right, good job, Takali Honor Guard. Way to go. Did your job. Hmm. Deafening Clarion. Amazing here. All right, Clarion's coming on in. Nico, re seven there with Twitch Prime. Hey, Nico. Sub number 63 on the day. 81 until our next 12 hour stream. We're doing a 12 hour stream tomorrow. Also. Yeah, so Clarion is great. I just don't need Tithe Taker in this deck, maybe. Um. I think just that. I could certainly see taking out History Banalia. But I don't think so. Let's go with this. Hmm. Right. Alright, Tide Taker, get on back in here. Or would I rather have Duress? One Duress. Take that removal spell from him. Could play an Immortal Sun. This game goes longer and everything. Kind of like one immortal sun. We'll do that. Why not settle? I feel like with their discard, um, they can, you know, they can see settle and, and play around it pretty well. I don't really like Settle against Thought Erasure decks. Lyra is still, you know, legendary and five mana. They have, you know, real downside of drawing a bunch, and it's not a, it's not like great against um, like Soul Tide decks with uh, like Chupacabra, Vivian, all that kind of stuff. Um, can kind of struggle there, and Lyra can also struggle against uh, Control. You know, again, Control doesn't care about the life gain, just 5 mana, 5-5, five, five. and they can counter that or or use a removal spell on it or, or anything. So am I supposed to contempt this Seraph of the Scales? I don't think so. I think I'm going to save contempt for like um, 
Deputy. Could certainly have Deputy, Hostage Taker. Abzan tokens with with hero and then march and stuff like that. I I like Bant. I like that kind of shell, but with Bant a lot more. With like uh, with how Bant has uh, deploy. Um. Yeah, I think I think ban adds more than than I think blue adds more than black does. There. Yeah, I did not rank rank Seraph of the Scales highly at all uh, before, but it certainly has grown on me a whole lot. All right, so if their last card's Deputy of Detention, that's annoying, but so be it. That's pretty good. They know about the Lyra Dawnbringer in my hand, so I think they're they're trying to they're probably trying to save that removal spell for Lyra Dawnbringer is my guess. If it is like a deputy. Mm. Found their own Lyra. That's bad. Yeah, Gladwar, absolutely. Go ahead. Draw card. And this is where Archer Verasco is going to come in clutch, getting us more, getting us more cards, getting us two cards a turn. Boom! Takali Honor Guard being a nice addition to the deck here in that matchup, and we are three zero. Would it have been better to trade Seraph and Clarion this turn for Lyra? would not have worked like that because Lyra has first strike. So Seraph does zero damage to Lyra. So, you know, the, we can't use, uh, we couldn't use those to kill the Lyra. All right. 2000 gold, three packs. We're going for 500 gold and two more packs with this one. All right, Abzan tokens. I like Pitiless Pontiff quite a bit. Ugh. I mean, it's possible to call the honor guard shuts down our opponent. We're on the play. We have 26 lands. Um, I think I'm going towards keep. It's a good first card. 
Hello, Rise. More lands, please. Need your help, deck. Maybe opponent kept a one lander with like branch walkers and stuff. I hope they have a bunch of branch walkers. Tilt. Got to seven wins with mono white aggro. Awesome. Way to go. Never donated. Are we got to be most worried about Vivian. Really hope the opponent doesn't have Vivian. Looks like no lands for them. Land for us. Am I going Angel? In the outfield? Let's do it. Talks like June. Usually I'm like trying to get this history down first and that kind of stuff, but I think I need to be aggressive. The longer my opponent can have, like, Vivian, it's probably the worst for me. It's 2,000 gold or 400 gems for the entry fee for this event. All right, come on, land. Get Aurelia in play. Aurelia? Nope. Oh, I should be playing history there. That should be a history. Could trade Sakali Honor Guard for Land War Elf. If I attack with it both. Oh no. Oh no. No Vivian, please. No Vivian. No Vivian. All right. Are they trying for finality? Is that their plan? Could certainly be their plan. It's a reasonable plan. Or if I should be attacking with those honor guards and trying to trade an honor guard with a land war elf. Please, no finality either. No. Bleh. Well, good news, they only have four lands now. I can only target creatures I control. I can't target my opponent's bronzed on. Rude. This one's not going so good for us. Yeah, definitely need land. Dang. We did have a one lander, you know, so that's that's tough. Um Immortal Sun Spyglass with Tithe Taker out. 
Do I want duress? Duress for... Duress for Aurelia? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely settle. Right, right, definitely settle. Settle for Aurelia. And I guess no duress. Yeah, I know duress has a lot of good targets uh, in the matchup. The Planeswalkers in particular, that's what I have the, the Spy Glasses and Immortal Suns for, though. Alright, let's just draw lands, please. Like normal. Just want to get to Immortal Sun. That's the, that's the plan. We were we came really close to winning that last game after mulliganing and keeping a one lander. We came really close. Takali Honorguard did a good amount, but they just got enough lands to finality there. That finality destroyed us. The Tithe Taker be treasure map. I could see that. It's not a bad idea. I can only see that. Um, Naya's not looking great right now. Um, I don't think Naya matches up too well against Sultai with the combination of Midnight Reaper, Counter Magic, and Hydroid Crisis. One black source. Be disdainful stroke. I'm thinking this is disdainful stroke. No. One black source. We don't have to worry about cast down with Dawnbringer because it's legendary. Could have been negate. Um. You know, I the Immortal Sun is, is the most important card in my hand. I don't want that to get countered, so I was willing to throw down the Dawnbringer and uh, test out a, a counter spell there. Karn, keep that, keep it. Karn's great. You get so much card advantage. Dang it. They never listen to me. Hey, jump high. Yep. Always dressing well. Thief of Sanity? Hmm. 
mean, if they have removal spell for Lyra, we're in so much trouble. So we, we really need to draw something else to do this turn besides just Contempt. I want to contempt under a counter spell. And we saw that like that's very possible they have negate. I'm not going to do it. Okay, good. Keep it. Grand Walker's a good card. Keep it. So I would like my opponent to keep it because while it's a, it's an okay card, dang it, I'm drawing two cards a turn, and if they're just kind of taking their time casting like Branch Walkers. That's certainly good for me. Are you kidding me, deck? Are you kidding me? It's just, it's just all lands. Just, it's just lands. I'd like to draw one of those cell the wreckages we brought in. That would be a good draw. Have a little bit of a little more bit more protection if this Dawnbringer dies. Don't have Clarion in right now, no. All right, hope they don't have a counter spell. Oh, I, I need to let damage happen first. I wanted it to kill their Thief, Thief of Sandy and gain six life, but I guess it doesn't matter. So I cracked, I did the Arch of Orozco main phase like that because, um, oh, is this just gonna be forever? Okay, good. So I did, that's exactly why I did the Arch of Orozco main phase was to bait my opponent into, um, attacking into the settle because I I was definitely not sure if they thought that settle would just be um, settle would just be three mana yeah I was planning on settling after first dark damage but it doesn't matter I was doing Brontodon because Brontodon could kill my Immortal Sun, because Immortal Sun was shutting down Vivian. Hmm. 
see, that's the kind of game that Clarion would be awesome in, but Clarion's not going to be awesome every game. They are playing... We did see Druid, though. With them having Druid also, that certainly makes me want to play Clarion more. And Thief of Sanity. Druid and Thief. All right, we'll go... We'll go Clarion and a Duress over the Histories. He totally would have fallen for the three mana settle. So everybody's like same. Yeah, that's that's what I uh, that's what I was kind of planning on for the opponent. Oh man. This is so much like the first game. Absolutely love turn two honor guard. I'm not sure if Resplendent Angel is good enough to get the, the job done. We don't have lands. All right, let's let's hopefully draw lands like we did the second game, and not like the first game. Come on, deck. No cast down. <clears throat> Doesn't really seem like they have the explore creatures anyway this, this game. Which is kind of bad for me. Certainly bad for me. What if I just Clarion? I play Resplendent Angel, they can kill Angel, and then I'm, like, super dead. They didn't play anything with three mana for any ETB effect creature anyway. Any ex Like, they had three mana, didn't play any kind of explore creature. Keep them away from Vivian. V Vivian Ing. Another thief. I would would have loved to hit the land drop for Seraph. Would have loved to hit the land drop for Seraph. Opponent's gonna find all our lands. No lands. They took something very quickly over Angel of Grace. What's better than Angel of Grace? The Immortal Sun? Lyra. Okay, I, I can deal with Lyra. I can deal with Lyra. Couldn't deal with Immortal Sun. They're not hitting land drops. Well, there's a land. It's probably Krasis if they're shocking in. I think either this this angel deck or um, this one or uh, Esper. I think neither are like perfectly tuned or anything, but these are the decks that uh, this one I've I've done the, the best with, but I like where Esper's at also. Dead. 
Dang it. They get a Chupacabra back. That's bad for me. Chupacabra backs real bad. So I can hit them for 5 lifelink, go to 12, get a 4-4. Four, four. That's one option. I'm going Sarah with the scales. Going with this option though. Love it. Not a card that kills me. Or a card that really matters at this point. I don't like how they get a free draw step, though, from it. Alright, love that one, too. Alright, Angels. Gotta get the, gotta get it done. We are killing Hydroid Crisis here where if they have, find finality and get it back. That's not good for me. I have not played any Jeskai Control or Jeskai Angels either. I have not, I've not played a Jeskai version. I guess you're probably asking about Jeskai Angels. Oh, another jellyfish. My opponent not blocking there. They certainly got uh, the Immortal Sun covered this game. So now I have two of these. They could only block one with a, a Hydroid Crisis. I don't think Crisis will get banned. Stuff in Standard just doesn't get banned. We went through like a little bit of time where it did, of course, but. A lot of people that think a lot of cards in standard are going to get banned, and I don't think any of them will. Should have sent Lyra too. No, you can't. We can't afford Lyra to die. We can't let them block Lyra and not turn all these these angels into being life linker, life link. Yeah, them not blocking earlier set this all up for me. They shocked in? Are you kidding me? Another Krasis? We can go Krasis for 11? What are they shocking in for? It's got to be Krasis for 11, right? But also, like, why why even shock there, though? You don't even... Why not just make it 10? What's the point of 11? Must be nice. Get another Krasis there. 
All right, removal spell. No, we don't win with removal spell, but we. Yeah, we do. Does that let us win? Removal spell we would have won. Would have had lethal in the air. So we play this. They block. Block, block, block. We do 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we do 9 damage. Hmm. And we need a removal spell. But yeah, Bronte kills Immortal Sun. I don't know, maybe I just shouldn't even be playing the Immortal Sun. I just Bronte on it. Oh, I could have attacked with one creature, yeah. I was thinking that attacking with two is bad, but yeah, I, I certainly could have just attacked with one and just gained six life. Or or just not play Immortal Sun, just gain five. Yeah, I could I could be at five higher life. Do they just not get a removal spell? Yeah, so I, I could just be at 47 and have an Immortal Sun in my hand. I should wait for a Spyglass to name the Brontodon to protect the sun. Yeah, we're see we're we're playing until we get one loss. Uh in this uh super challenge thing. These are Honestly, this is worth a lot of packs. This is worth a good amount of packs in gold here. Whether we win or lose this game. They're at 25. We're at 33. I need to draw Spyglass for Brontodon. And then we're looking good. Arch of Orozco would not be a bad card to draw either. So they have Find Finality. So that kills... Kills two one ones on my side. Hmm, it's interesting. Do we risk it? I don't think it's worth an attack out. We attack out, they go to one, but then I'm I'm just down to so I'm down to two angels. They don't block Lyra because they know that I have another Lyra. 
if our opponent did not have if they didn't have that counter spell there we could have had lethal but they did you think I should just attack with just Lyra and then play a new one get a third it's kind of risky just throwing Lyra out there because yeah if we attack with just Lyra we get another angel we replay Lyra, we have five angels. Um, and we can kill them next turn. But then if they kill Lyra... I don't know, it's kind of bad for us. But I'm not really doing anything now. Oh, I did have lethal with lava coil, didn't I? So is that is that worth the risk? Cuz like if we do that plan and they just have an instant speed removal spell, we're just like so dead. Yeah, I like I like chilling. We haven't really like drawn removal. We yeah, so I guess I missed it with that coil before. Yeah, we have a whole lot of mortifies. We haven't drawn any of those yet. I don't have any Aurelias in the deck. Do you have a bunch of Seraphs? Or other Resplendent Angels? If we're going to draw a land, I'd like to draw Arch of Orozco, where we can draw multiple cards a turn. Yeah, this game was crazy. What a crazy match. The finality. That finality. Um, yeah, that was not, not so good. Yeah, they he knew about Lava Coils. Our opponent did. So yeah, blocking with the 7-7 seven, seven over and over. Alright, so now we're at the 2,500 gold 5 packs. So we're, we're, this next one's for 500 gold in 5 packs. Big game here. Going 5-0, pretty big. Big game. Um... Oh, I need to get uh, Bant Midrange up on YouTube. It's almost almost all the way uploaded. Let me get some stuff about that. All right, Tithe Taker, you better do something. Otherwise... I may be taking you out of this deck. Ugh. 
you need a hand. Yeah, we're basically just kind of, you know, there's, there's no cards I need from the set, so we're basically just gaining gems uh, towards the next set. You know, like, that's that's what I'm trying to do here with the, the collection right now, is just build up the gen, gem collection. Um, so that we'll ha we can have, like, the cards from the next set right away. Logan, subbing with the tier one sub. Welcome to the stream, Logan. Thank you so much. That gets some hype in the channel for sub number 64. We are at N Nintendo levels here today. Grow Spiral. It's looking like a fog deck. Looking like a fog deck. I'm gonna attack for 12 next turn. Not exactly lethal. Can we get this swamp for this mortify, please? Blow up this wilderness reclamation. No. I can't cast mortify. It costs black mana. I don't have black mana. Tight Thicker is kind of good here. Making it hard for our opponent to cast Fogs. <laughs> yeah, it cost them five mana to cast a Fog right now. So, like, Settle the Wreckage is just, like, not, not a possibility. If they're like sitting with settles, like that'd be great because they certainly cannot cast settle. Tithe taking it down. That's what Tithe Taker does. Takes it down. Game one to the good guys. Uh, let's get Duress, Spyglass, Immortal Sun. Theater. I don't know if we need all that kind of stuff. Like, Honor Guards, Lava Coils. If we take out Honor Guard, Lava Coil... That means that I only need to take out two other cards. So... Probably like Immortal Sun or Theater. I'm thinking Theater is probably too slow. Is it Theater or Immortal Sun? Which one's the, the slower one? Immortal Sun stops that Teferi. Which is... Pretty nice. So yeah, let's go like this. I could play theater over like Angel of Grace. You know, some random five mana angel. Like is Angel of Grace really killing the opponent that fast? Theater can like ping down to fairy whenever they if they tick down onto fairy or like you know theater can ping them if they're like casting fogs and stuff. Theater or Angel of Grace? I think that's the question. Mm -hmm. All right. We were saying theater. Let's go theater. <laughs> Couldn't you fit a few more mythics in the deck? I tried. They don't have any mythic lands. I wanted to put mythic lands in there. I had to just settle for all these rare lands. Alright, 26 land deck. Show me where these lands at. Show me the lands. That's a good land right there. Snare, snare, anticipate. Huh. Could name Archvaraska. 
I think I want to name like Ezcanta the Sunken Ruin. With having the Immortal Sun for Teferi? Nah, it's just Teferi. Just always Teferi. Should have named Azkanta. So I can mortify that. But of course, if I if I mortify that, then I don't get to mortify Wilderness Reclamation. I named uh, Teferi. Probably need to mort. Probably need to mortify the Search for Azkanta. Oh, it's a tough call. Way to turn. Spyglass only stops cards with activated abilities. Wilderness Reclamation does not have an activated ability. Activated abilities are things with a colon. So, like, saying Search for Escanta does nothing, but as you can see with Escanta, the Sunken Ruin, uh, see how it has like two and a blue, tap it, and it does stuff. So that has an activated ability that does things. All right, looks like I'm destroying the search for Escanta. They get a lot of mana threat wilderness reclamation, but they don't get more cards. They need more cards. If they don't have more cards, can't do anything with that mana. Yeah, no problem. So yeah, so that's how you can find if things are activated abilities. Like, uh, Theater Horse has that activated ability, the 3R part. See the, the colon there? Settle? Alright, you got me. How many basics do I got? Just two? Watch out, some more basics. Drawing two cards a turn though with Immortal Sun, so I don't really mind that settle. Some of these decks play like Dawn of Hope as like a way to win without Teferi. Like you just make a whole lot of one ones, keep taking extra turns with Nexus of Fate, all that kind of stuff. They can have jellyfishes. Jellyfishes can maybe do something. Alright, I need to get another spyglass for this Arch of Araska. Ugh. Good last card. They get to draw a lot of cards with Arch of Araska now. Yeah, Arch is looking like the pick now. You know, I didn't know if I was going to get to like the six, the six mana for a Mortal Sun uh, kind of thing at the time. And we also play Arch of Araska, so it's kind of harder for me to name it. But yeah, it's certainly looking like the pick right now.
But yeah, in hindsight, that was certainly the card to name. Gotta draw another spyglass for this arch. We got three looks. We're drawing three cards a turn. Alright, this one's probably pretty over. Should have named Archer Veraska. It's definitely not a 0% chance of win here, approach. We're certainly not at 0%. Doesn't look good for us, but we're certainly not at 0% at all. It is, you know, like annoying because it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little while before we have a turn again. With just like all these triggers, have to click OK all this time. Because I'm gonna be hitting the space bar. Okay, now with double chemistry's insight there, this has got to be zero now. Like they have to find a nexus every single turn, right? So if we if we don't get another turn, we're not gonna win. Okay, theater was pretty slow. Not sure if Angel of Grace helps uh, help us out too much. Maybe we just have Tikali Honor Guard to stop to stop Knight of Autumn. Just gonna do that. I'm gonna play two Tikali Honor Guard for Knight of Autumn because that's that's certainly a, a big time sideboard card for them. Well, fogs don't stop theater damage at all. Yeah, I gotta gotta get these tithe takers again. Should have named Archer Veraska. I think I think I might have been able to pull that off, or I'll probably pull it off if I just name Archer Veraska. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this mode is brutal, Madcap Ming. Or Mad Madcap King. This mode is brutal. I was waiting until turn two before I played the duress because I wanted to give them another draw step. I wanted to try to get Searcherous Cant out of their hand. That was my plan with the with the duress was get Searcherous Cant out of their hand. Alright, Colin, I'm trying. This is certainly not a good matchup for us. You know, like, we're just playing a bunch of, like, these angels, like, they can answer very easily. They shocked in there, so they found a Chemist's Insight, most likely. It's not good for us. It's definitely possible their opponent sideboarded out. Um, to fairy, absolutely, absolutely, it's possible. It's also possible that I should not just be casting the Spyglass there and, and blindly naming, that I should be waiting on the Spyglass, um, keeping it in hand, even though I had, you know, mana uses later, cards to, to use mana on, that I should just be waiting for something to see of, like, are they going to draw Arch of Araska or Search for Ascanta, um, you know, give me more information before playing it. They have three fog effects. There's a Teferi. I guess you don't get to see their hand anymore because they discarded a Nexus. All right, now this one can name as Kanta the Sunken Ruin. Alright, so Teferi's out of here. Alright, they are flipping Escanta just to take extra turns. And put the Nexuses back in their deck. They had a land drop. They definitely should not be flipping the Escanta there with the land drop. Alright, come on. Oh, they haven't played a land yet. 
Oh my gosh, Tithe Taker, Tithe Taker, come on. Oh, Tithe Taker. Oh, they just root snare in response, though. Yeah, they just root snare in response. All right, it's still attacking, which I I don't think I did last last time, but I'm still attacking so I can get the mentor trigger on. Certainly glad we have the spyglass for the S the S can to the sunken rune though. So they've gone through three root snares. One cell the wreckage, three root snare. Yeah, if their last cards are Nexus, they can just take turns forever. Yep. They don't have they have not uh made a, a good way to deal with that. Nope. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's not an activated ability, the Chemist's Insight. That's just a different way to cast the card. Is it just me, or does this new standard format feel like a bit of an arms race? I think that's a, a fair way to describe standard, I, I suppose. I'm not sure how it's more than other times. So they have, um, they do now have Arch of Araska now where they can draw extra cards, but that costs a whole lot of mana. Thankfully no Wilderness Reclamation yet. So they don't they don't have any like permanent source of card advantage. They got two more chemistry's insights to flashback. And no, you know, like fifteen million mana. Alright, I am activating the Seraph three times so I can tap out. So I don't have to click OK. Anymore, that's certainly something I should have done before. Dang, they found a, found a reclamation. That's not so good. Opponent has not died yet. I'm really glad I don't have to click OK now all the time. Yeah, I can't have cinder vines in this colors though, in these colors. So they're sitting at like 20 cards in library. That's really not very many for just finding Nexus of Fates again and again. We honestly may not get another turn.
they have they have Hydroid Crisis in their deck. But that's that's how they're gonna kill us with Hydroid Crisis, with just a really big Hydroid Crisis. That you know they just take all the turns. So it looks like this is the end for Marty of Angels. The second game decision of not choosing Arch of Arazka with Spyglass hurt us a whole lot. I, d I don't know why Wilderness Reclamation was printed. I don't know what, what the goal of that card was. Like, I don't. Oh, I guess they could... Yeah, they may overdraw if it's a large crisis. I guess that's possible. I wish I didn't attack with like the Seraph of the Scales right about now, or the, the Lyra. Could have had the Seraph still have Death Touch. And nope, not overdrawing. So they still got nine, so they're good. So as long as they cast a Nexus of Fate here, they win. Like I'm, I'm conceding if they have a Nexus of Fate in hand. If for some reason all the Nexus of Fates are down in the bottom nine cards, you know, then I have a chance. But if they have a Nexus of Fate in hand, then they win. All right, they had one. They weren't all in the bottom nine. Ugh. All right, so we got to four wins. We got 2,500 gold and five packs. But, yeah, Marty Angels still... Uh, still a really good deck, you know, we're 4-0 before that. That's going to just be a really tough matchup for the deck, uh, Bant Nexus. You know, we're playing a whole lot of expensive creatures, and they are really good at stopping expensive creatures, and, you know, just a bunch of fogs, as we saw that game. Not a whole lot I can do about it there. So, we tried. Um, so there we go. Let's crack open some of the packs for having an awesome stream, doing well. Might as well crack open those five. 20 gems. I feel like we're just gonna be getting 20 gems quite a bit. I don't have all the mythics. We're trying to draw mythics, but every rare is just 20 gems because you can't get reprints of the rares. I already have four X of the rares now. Where's the mythics? We gotta get a mythic somewhere, right? Dang. Alright, we'll keep it going. Alright, so remember everybody, 12 hour stream tomorrow, as you can see here, 11 to 11 Eastern. Doing that for hitting, for all these awesome, wonderful subscribers from today. One of these has to be a mythic. Usually it's like one in eight packs is a mythic. That's like the normal math. Um, I'm missing probably about half the mythics or so. Like I don't have four of. Maybe a little less than half. No, it's just ten straight packs of gems. Huh. 
Many, many gems. Uh, tomorrow, some decks on the, the docket. We have three three decks for sure on the docket of Esper Angels, Four Color Gates, and Jeskai Divine Visitation, Jeskai Tokens. Those are the three decks that we're definitely playing um, from different donations and stuff. But, yeah, we can certainly try some Ardu Angels again tomorrow. Yep, that's half half the entry fee back, those gems there. Okay, um, so if you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, of course, thank you so much. I hope you hit that subscribe button. I'm going to put the YouTube link here in chat also. Uh, another way that I'm doing a 12-hour stream is every 500 YouTube subs. So we're about 200 away from 1,500, and so if we get there, then uh, doing another 12-hour stream to celebrate 1,500 YouTube subscribers. So that's youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG for the channel. Uh, go on over there, follow. You can see all of the replays of the different streams there. Um, but yeah, again, for YouTube, hope you see you for the next video. Thanks for